guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I am very excited to give you guys my first impressions thoughts and also all day wear tests letting you guys know what I think of this product and whether it's worth checking out or not. I've seen people rave about this so I'm excited to test this out for myself and see what it does so keep watching. I picked this up from my local Sephora and I am very excited to be testing this out. So this comes in 18 colors and it retails for $32. I picked this up in the shade Golden Medium. This is a lightweight ultra hydrating skin tint that delivers a blurred and flawless satin matte second skin long wearing finish up to 12 hours. Um, this is light coverage, natural finish and a liquid formula. It does contain here plant derived amino acids to hydrate and condition the skin for a smoother plumper appearance, pea extract to promote skin elasticity and firmness, peach flower extract to protect the skin against the harmful effects of free radicals. Um, this is free of parabens. It's also vegan and cruelty free. Um, so we shall see how this does. I'm actually very interesting that this is a satin matte finish. I do have oily skin, so we shall see how that does on my skin, but we are just going to be putting this on the face this is what the packaging looks like. And here you do get 1.01 ounces. So pretty standard for a skin tint. Now we're going to go ahead and take the blurring skin tint. Let's see how this does. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead, take some on the back of my hand. It's a pretty runny product, so we shall see how that does. We'll also see how this color does. It looks like it's gonna give us coverage. So on one side I'm gonna use a brush and on the other side a sponge. So I'm first gonna start off with my sponge. I'm just using the Araceli Beauty Bella sponge and I'm applying this all over the side of the face. Very natural results. I feel like you can still see my redness a little bit, like right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest and put it on my forehead. Okay, this color matched my forehead perfectly. And it does have like a skin finish, I would say. So this is with one layer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and build it up just a little bit more, just to see how it builds up. It's actually really interesting because when I first applied it and I just swept it on my um, face, I feel like it looked like it was gonna give us a super full coverage finish for a skin tint. But once I blended it out, I feel like it just became very like skin-like natural. Um, so I'm not sure if it's maybe because I'm using a damp sponge or if it's because the product is just naturally a more skin finish. We'll see, cause we will be going in with a brush shortly. So let's go in with a little bit more because I do want to see how I can build this up. Now, if my skin was pretty evened out like it is on the forehead, I probably wouldn't go in with more product, but just because I do have my rosacea, I like to go in and just add a little bit more, especially in like the center of the face, like right here. I feel like it matches pretty well. The shade, what was it? Golden medium. So you guys can see, it does look like skin. Like once it sets, I feel like it gives a very skin-like finish. It also doesn't look as luminous as quite a few skin tints I've recently tried out. So that's another good thing. So here we go with the skin tint, without the skin tint. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do this side. And you guys see like when you first swipe it on, it looks like it's gonna give you really like full coverage results, but once you blend it out, it's more of a skin-like finish. But we are going with a brush now, so maybe it'll be different, because you guys remember a damp sponge always, you know, absorbs a little bit of that extra product, but a brush, it's not damp, so. Let's see, okay, so I wanna talk about this brush real quick. I actually featured this in my Ulta haul um, that I just recently did. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely check it out. I'll have it linked. But this is the foundation blender, the 213 brush from Real Techniques. I purchased this when I was at Ulta, and let me just tell you, I'm very impressed. I like to just go ahead and swipe it, and then I just kind of press it into the skin, like so. It's a really nice brush. I feel like it's kind of like a brush sponge hybrid in terms of you can like press it and just kind of like dab it like a sponge, but then you can also swipe it like a brush. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds, to be honest. Skin tint is definitely a natural finish because even with a brush that's not damp, 
I'm definitely seeing that there are some little areas that are a little bit more sheared out, especially with the redness. Um, so if you do have some redness, you will have to build up this product. Um, you're not just gonna get like that full coverage immediately, which I'm not really expecting that because this is a skin tint and it's honestly not claiming to be a full coverage product. It says here that it delivers a flawless satin matte finish, second skin finish. Um, and just like light to medium coverage. I definitely do feel like it gives a second skin finish. Um, right now, I will say, I'm gonna put out a disclaimer, my rosacea has been flaring up a little bit more. It may be what I'm eating. I've had a little bit of dairy and dairy and me do not mix when it comes to my rosacea. So, um, yeah, I have more texture than usual. Even though I do have that texture, I do like how it looks on my skin. I also do appreciate the fact that it's not heavy whatsoever. Um, let me touch it, is it sticky? It is a little sticky. I feel like this side is stickier than this side, but it's probably because we just apply this, but this side isn't as sticky, but this side is stickier, so you do wanna give it a little bit of time to set into the skin. But if you're somebody like me that does have redness or things you wanna cover up, you will have to build this up. You can always go back in with concealer and it takes care of it. That's typically what I do. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, lately for every day, I've been really into just skin tints. And so the skin tint that I've been wearing like pretty much every day for my everyday look is the Summer Fridays one. I love the skin tint. This one is great if you are somebody that does have like dry to normal skin. If you have oily skin, you can get away with this. I have oily skin, but you will pick up some dew, so make sure that you set it. Um, or if you don't mind the dew, then you'll probably like this. If you do mind the dew a lot, you probably won't like this. So. I'm interested to see how this compares in terms of because it does give you satin matte finish it will if it will be better for people that have oily skin and so far i do feel like it doesn't look dewy it looks like a natural skin finish but it is kind of gearing more towards a satin soft matte finish because my face doesn't look as dewy as it does when i do have on like other skin tints like the summer friday one um so i like it i like the fact that for an oily skin person it is setting nicely um i probably will just go over on the t-zone with some powder at the end to see how that goes but besides that i feel like that looks nice um so what i'm gonna go ahead and do now is i'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and then we can go ahead and start our day because i'm gonna be wearing this for the entire day you guys know i'll be coming back at like midnight so and right now we're not at our earliest start it's 1 p.m but still we're gonna be wearing this for a long time so let's get out okay guys so i am back i finished my entire face of makeup and i'm ready to talk about this iconic london super smoother blurring skin tint these long names always get me as you guys can see, the makeup looks really nice and in place. I also have to say that the skin tint did set, so it's not sticky how it was before, but it does transfer a little bit, so just keep that in mind. Overall, I feel like it looks pretty nice. Um, do I think it's completely smoothing? No, but then again, I have textured skin, so nothing truly will look completely smooth on my skin, unless I'm having a really good skin week, um, but, I do like the fact that it feels like skin and even when I was looking at myself in the camera because I did film a TikTok, I felt like my skin still looked very natural. Um, and lately I've been really into that like natural skin like finish um, and I'm definitely getting that from this skin tint. Um, now, something else I wanna point out is this does claim to have a satin matte finish. I feel like in some areas I do look a little not so matte this isn't claiming to be a matte matte product so i wasn't really expecting this to look completely matte but like around the t's and the areas where i do get a little oily i do feel like i can kind of see a little bit of shine peek through so what i would just do is i would take a brush with a little bit of some powder and just kind of press in those areas to kind of just absorb any type of shine as you guys can see. Another thing I like to do, especially when I'm out and about, is I like to carry my little finger puff and just blot little areas like this. And I feel like it just takes care of all those little oils. So far, I feel like this is more so for like every day than I would say something that you could also get away with using for like an evening out or an event. If you have skin like me that does have like things that you wanna cover or you want it to look more full coverage, I definitely do think this is more true to like an everyday natural finish. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with it. But besides that, I feel like it's a pretty good product. And I also, like I mentioned, like the fact that for a skin tint, it didn't immediately make me look 
more dewy when I first applied it. I feel like it was giving me like a normal natural finish. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to show you guys how this looks in natural light. The sun just came out, so it's looking like it's gonna be a very beautiful day. Um, I'm about to be out all day, so I will come back at the very end of the day and give you guys my final thoughts and what I would suggest and who I would suggest this for. Um, but so far, not bad. First impressions on a scale of one to 10, I would have to say a seven, um, but I'm excited to see how this will do longevity wise because it's supposed to be long wearing and also how it will do on my oily skin. So stay tuned, keep watching, you won't want to miss this. Here is the skin tint in natural lighting. I feel like color wise, it looks really good. I think it matches me perfectly. So I would definitely recommend this shade. I feel like with the studio light, it did look a little bit more on the warmer side, but once in natural light, it looks perfecto. Um, and you guys can see the skin. I feel like the skin still looks like skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing heavy makeup, um, but then again, I'm not expecting anything less because this is a skin tint, um, and I like it so far. I think it looks nice. Just very natural, everyday friendly. I'm gonna go ahead, carry on with the rest of my day, and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so I am back right now. It is 11.37 p.m. So let's talk about the iconic London Super Smoother Skin Tint. So. This is what we're looking like right now. We definitely picked up a little bit of dew, but honestly not too bad, which I'm definitely appreciative of as somebody that does have oily skin. This product does give a little bit of a dewy finish by the end of the day. Absolutely, you guys can see it right here, but I feel like not as bad as it could with other products. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say for a skin tint, for somebody who is looking for more so of like a soft matte finish, I think you'll really enjoy this if you have oily skin. Um, I will say though, if you are somebody that is looking to really blur out the imperfections or make you look completely like smooth, I don't think it's gonna do that, especially if you do have texture like I do. Now, another thing that I will say about this is this is a very natural product, so it does give more so of that light to medium coverage. Um, it won't give full coverage. So if you're looking for a skin tint to give you more fuller coverage, this probably won't be the one for you. Pretty much it. I feel like for me personally, I'm gonna continue using it in my collection and for my everyday and see how it does. And I'll keep you guys posted in a future trying new makeup video. Um, but I think so far, not bad at all. Um, I just wouldn't count on this to completely minimize any imperfections. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this out? If you have, I wanna hear your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down below. Let's go ahead and start a conversation. But that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know continue doing these type of videos for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.